If you've ever received one of these errors in Metasoft, an error 6610, um, it doesn't allow you to close the program. Um, you can't really click anywhere. Even when you click OK, the only thing you can resort to is restarting your program or killing the task. There's a simple fix to this, and what this error means is that your computer stopped talking to the server where your Metasoft data is hosted um, for too long. And there's several reasons why this happens. What we need to go into to fix this is Control Panel. If you don't have Control Panel on your desktop, you just right click on your desktop, go to Personalize, Change Desktop Icons, and then make sure that Control Panel is checked. So we're going to go into the Control Panel. We're going to go to Device Manager. And then Network Adapters. We're going to right click on here and go to Properties. And we're going to go to a tab called Power Management. And this causes most of the problems with 6610 errors. This is basically saying that your computer is going to put your network card to sleep after it hasn't been in use for a while. You need your network card to communicate with the server, and so a 6610 error pops up because you lost communication with the server too long. It's probably because the card went to sleep. So we're going to uncheck all these and click OK. The next place we're going to go is Power Options. And so we're going to change plan settings for whichever one the radio button selected. So I have the Dell preferred one. We're going to make sure the computer doesn't go to sleep. And we're also going to make sure the computer doesn't go to sleep over here as well. And for your server, you want to make sure that the server does not have the hard drive turning off. And so you're going to want to do this to all your workstations running Metasoft, as well as the server that hosts the data. And then your 6610 error should be resolved. If you have any further problems, please feel free to give us a call. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!